you know, just from the standpoint of the design of this golf course 100 years ago, significantly. Uh, the construction methods, construction techniques, but then also the way the golf course is maintained, green speeds, all of those things. In my mind, this, the coolest thing is the golf courses that, that are 100 years old are still very treasured and they present a great test. And in my mind, a lot of that is due to the fact that there's such unique things that were created 100 years ago when, you know, the equipment they had here to build this with you know, a team of horses, you know, maybe a, 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 a steam shovel. But a lot of this was just Ross walking the property and figuring out this is a high point. Let's put a green here. This is the shape that lends itself because of the ground. And, and you get these unique green shapes and things. And then that becomes balanced with the way the modern game is played. Bunker placement, especially fairway bunker placement, certainly a huge change in technology, right? If, if in, in the 20s, when this was originally done, uh, you know, think about, you know, golfers hitting at 220, 230, 240, 250 maybe, it versus today where you have these young guys in the Northeast Amateur hitting well over 300 yards. So trying to make the fairway bunkers make sense for those players is something that we've, we've looked at. Uh, obviously, it's a members golf course, so we're also trying to make sure that we're thinking about everybody, mm -hmm. uh, but, but that's certainly changed.